All right, I'm just putting the batteries in my uh, GoPro, getting ready to start on my clay today. Let's have some fun with my clay. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm gonna work on this arm and hand. I was thinking about doing it in monster clay, but I think I'm just gonna do the hand in monster clay, and that means I'm gonna have to make a wire armature that I can do the hand with. So I've gotta cut back on this and I'm gonna have to make it with wire that I can glue on with uh, monster glue I'm not I'll have to make it with wire that I can glue on with uh, Gorilla glue if I can find my wire Okay, I'm just cutting away a little bit of clay on his arm. I'm going to cut away this bent piece of metal that I was using as an armature for his arm or hand. I'm going to put a little wire thingy dingy <laughs> that's an artistic uh, term thingy dingy on there and uh, I'm gonna take some electrician's tape that I've cut down in size or width and I'm gonna attach it to the arm because I can't buy my damn gorilla glue every time I buy gorilla glue I end up losing it and can't find it again so I don't know so this electrician's tape works just fine This is really hard to, vi to video and to get the camera on the subject. So I'm going to apologize if it doesn't quite sit in the middle of the camera. What I did is I just repositioned my cameras. I know they're probably going to have me in the way most of the time, but there's nothing I can do about that because I've got to sculpt this and I can't think about the camera angle. I backed the camera off and uh, I'm just going to see if that works.
and I'm not certain this is even going to work. I'm just trying it for the first time. All right, I, I removed the, the hand. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I don't really see any other way of doing this. I removed the hand from the arm. I got to be real careful how I do this. All right, what I've done is I've taken some paint that I had made up special uh, for this process. What I did was I took some samples of clay mm -hmm. to the uh, paint store, the local paint store, which is at True Value here in Ennis, Montana. And I asked them to match the color with an indoor flat finish paint and they did and they made, matched it the color of the uh, paint or the clay and uh, so now when it dries it'll be uh, exactly the same color I, the reason I'm painting the monster clay is because I'm going to be adding clay my regular clay to the monster clay and this gives it a little tooth for the monster for the regular clay to stick to um, and also I need to let this monster clay uh, stiffen up a bit because it's too soft right now to do anything with I also added a dab of my uh, Gorilla Glue to the hole left by the wrist being pulled away from the uh, main armature wire and hopefully the wire that's 
in the hand, which will be touching the wire of the uh, armature, will glue to that so that it won't be moving off that arm. So I've got to let everything dry and I'm going to take a break and I'll be back next time. So that's going to be it for tonight and I'm sorry it's such a short uh, video but uh, the uh, it just worked out that way today. Good night everybody. See you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.